All right. All right, so this is my tutorial for custom Ravage scenarios, making your own respawns and adding traders and stuff like that. Okay. So, first up, I'm just on Stratus, but you can use any map. Um, every map pretty much works, except for three that I'm aware of. Pisteria, which is a cup map, and Grasslands, and some other one, I can't remember. It's just a Russian one that it's not really popular anyway. So, what you want to do is just whack down a survivor, just sort of got a player down on the field, and then whack another survivor down, preferably way, way away from your player, and same with another one. And let's put three down actually and make sure they're not near each other just so they're not in the same group because that can mess things up because these three guys are going to be our traders we're going to have a weapons trader a clothing trader and the food trader let's get them ready Alright, so now go over to, on your right, go to systems, go to the modules, uh, click on ravage modules, just there, and now we're going to get a couple of these, alright, so you want the ambient AI, that's AI, to the map, uh, you don't need zombies, but we're just going to put zombies down just to show you how to do it anyway, um, the atmosphere, Equipment pool and loot system. Uh, we'll get a safe zone in there for the trader, just so I can show you how to do that. Um, some settings and the survival system, and of course vehicles. Sorry about the other zombie placement stuff. We won't get to that in this tutorial. We'll do that another time. Okay, so straight up, make sure you've got every single module that I've got there on your left. Alright, and now let's go into the double click the ambient AI. Alright, now keep the population factor at 1 because for frame rate's sake we're, and for this mission's tutorial sake, we just want a couple of um, AI around us. So I'm just going to get rid of the secondary hostile forces and the friendly forces. So again, frame rate's sake. And plus, we don't need the friendly forces because we've got traders. Now let's go down to the spawn distances and let's change it to 200 to 800 just so you get some action and you're not just walking around the map for half an hour and you don't see anyone. Alright, now let's go on to the zombies. Alright, so we're going to put both types, walkers and runners, and we're going to put the boulders ratio on 0, 1 just so it's not insane and put it on 4 for the population. Now the global population is how much there's going to be all together. So if you just whack it on 999, you're guaranteed to have enough zombies throughout your little scenario. Alright, next we're going to go to Atmosphere. And we're going to put on just Dynamic Weather for this one. Just for, just so we've got weather. You could put the Breath Dog in there if you want, but I don't really need it. Okay, uh, let's go in the Equipment Pool. Alright, with the presets, it doesn't really matter, but let's... We want none for this scenario, but if you let's just say you want the Tenaris, um, all the AI would have AKs and RHS gear if you had the RHS mod on. Alright, and let's put the military grade uniforms on 66 just so you got some decent loot when you kill them. Infected equipment so the zombies are militarized. Um, we've got if you run an RHS, just put on yes, same with cup or warfare tie. That's great mod, I love that. I have to recommend using that. They've got tents that you can sleep in, toilets you can piss and shit in. Uh, Armour 3 content, let's put on limited just because Armour 3 content itself is shit and everyone uses mods, not Armour 3 content. Alright, next, um, let's bring up loot system. Alright, now for this map it's Stratus, so I only want the Armour 3 structures. I want the loot to spawn just in them. But if you're using Cup like Tenaris or, I don't know, Essica or any map, you're going to want to turn every single structure on, yes, so you actually get some loot. Now with loot chances, um, let's put the first two digits on 66 and 33, so that way you're actually going to see some loot, and there won't be like Daisy standalone, and you, it'll be populated, you'll get some stuff. Okay, so yeah, put all three loot chances on 66, 33, just for the both two parts. 
Next, let's go to the safe zone. Alright, you can put the radius to whatever you want, but uh, I don't know, 100 meters is good for, for this mission. So now let's um, open up our player. Ah, uh, sorry, let's go back. Okay, so now, um, actually, we're going to make traders. Actually, get that out of the way. Alright, so go over to your empty survivors that we placed down. The first one, let's do an arms trader. Okay, so have the um, code that's in the description copied, ready to paste in his initial code line. Paste it there, like that. That's all you have to do. Oh, actually, go down to his uh, special states and take his damage off and go down to his disable AI features and don't let him move and don't let him cover because he's a traitor we want it to be like Daisy Epoch so he stands still and alright now let's get the next code ready this code was the uh, clothing code we're going to do I think yep just paste the code in there do the same we'll turn the damage off and he's uh, ability to move and cover and next let's go on the third one which was our food guy so again the all three codes for these three people should be in the description you just paste it in their initial code so now I'm just gonna go into the player actually hang on a second ignore that so yeah we'll put that code in there Alright, now let's go over to the player. Alright, now this is how you're going to be. Right, let's go to tribute. Oh. Um, we're going to have to give your actual character some money, and I'll show you how to change your gear if you don't know how to do that. So just right click him, and you can either edit loadout or go to tribute. We'll deal with the tribute later, but at the moment, just go to edit loadout. And for this scenario's sake, we'll just give him a backpack. And now all Ravage gear can be found in the magazine. Just scroll down to get rid of armor's default ammo. And there we go, there's Ravage banknotes, which is the currency. And we're just gonna give him 30 bucks, just so we've got some money to make sure the mission works. You could also give him canteen, can opener, whatever the hell you want him to spawn with, if you want that. Alright. So now he's got he's got 30 bucks to spend at the shop. So we've got the weapon stealer, the clothing trader, and the food trader. All right, now actually, I'm going to show you how to put an arsenal stand down. I think, yeah. All right, so just go to blank empty objects, and then type get let's get an info stand just for this bit to explain it to you. Go to attributes, go to equipment storage, and select arsenal. It's that easy. You can do it to pretty much any item in Armour 3. But if you're doing it to an ammo case, make sure you empty it first, because that can cause some problems. Okay, let's go up the top, click Tributes, General. Here's where you do your title and all that crap, and if you want DLC. Here's just where, if, if you want the independent team to be friendly against Blue 4 or Op 4, We'll just make them everyone hostile. Let's go back. Uh, actually, we'll do. We'll get up to respawns later, I think. So yeah, let's go to let's go to your markers and click respawns. Put one of them down. Put it anywhere you want the respawn marker, and double click it. Alright, in the variable name, you want respawn underscore west. That's for the blue four team. And there we go. Now you can, if you want them to respawn in more than one spot, um, you can also just hold control C, copy it, and control V, paste it anywhere. And boom, you've got more than one respawn. You can also right click your player and connect and set random start just so he's got a random start when you spawn in for the first time just like traditional DayZ so you can do this to every single respawn which does get tedious in a big mission trust me alright next we'll go up to multiplayer and 
distribute. Uh, here's where you can enable it AI, uh, AI and respawn. We want to respawn on a custom position. And the delay for 10 seconds. And the save loadout, just so when you die, you actually have your gear when you come back. Then we go to attributes and performance, just so when things die, they despawn. So character corpses, you want all scenario objects, uh, minimum delay of 30 seconds, max delay of 2 minutes. Do that with the um, Rex as well. You don't really need to do that, it's just, it helps when there's a lot of dead bodies. Okay, now let's go back to, uh, to systems, go down to this. And let's go to the Game Master and drop that down. Uh, double click it, go to variable name. Actually, go down to owner and write player one. And then on the add ons, click all of them, including unofficial, and go booyah. And right click the survivor, which is you, attribute, and go to your variable name and write player one. So that way, now you're the Game Master or Zeus cur Curator or whatever the hell you want to call him. Um, let's just go down to me and get rid of my stamina, because I'm a free stamina is cancer. Um, it's good to go, let's test it. Yeah, I do have potatoes, so you stay with me here. Hey, man. Alright. <laughs> See the traders having a little fidget there because I've got a potato. It's taken them a second to load in to realise that they are traders. Ah, oh, here they are. Okay. So now, yeah, look, it works. You can buy whatever, and the arsenal stand should work too. Alright, uh, so if this does actually help out people, I guess next time I'll show you how to do the custom black market script and how to add your own items to traders. Uh, I guess that's it for now. I hope that helps.